Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Airman First Class Alexander Naumov. I am your narrator for today's ceremony. On behalf of Colonel Joshua DeMotz, the commander, 99th Air Base Wing, welcome to Nellis Air Force Base and to the 99th Mission Support Group Assumption of Command. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem and the invocation. Chaplain David Bartlett will now offer the invocation. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, 3,000 years ago, King Solomon, as he began his reign, prayed to you, saying, Your servant is in the midst of your people, a great people. Therefore, give your servant an understanding heart to lead them. God, you have blessed this great people the magnificent men and women of the 99th Mission Support Group with strong, steady leadership. And so we thank you, God, for the integrity, selfless service, and constant commitment to excellence that has been provided. As well, we thank you, God, for Colonel Mayers. Bless him now with wisdom and strength and with an understanding heart to lead the men and women of this great unit. Bless them and all of us as together we serve our country for the sacred cause of freedom. Continue to grant us a deep sense of pride in what we are doing here today, as it is truly vital to the defense of American democracy. This we ask in your almighty and all merciful name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Bartlett. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our civilian and military distinguished guests in attendance today. Mrs. Patty DeMotz, the wife of Colonel DeMotz. Mrs. Elena Mayers the, and their two daughters, Kiara and Liana. Mrs. Bonnie Mayers, Colonel Mayers' mother. Tim and Brenda Lohman, Colonel Mayers' cousins. Colonel Jason Wilde, Vice Commander of the 99th Air Base Wing. Colonel Matthew Sandelier, Chief of Research, Analysis, and Development Division, Air Force Headquarters, and his wife, Brenda. Colonel Dina Quanico, Commander of the 432nd Mission Support Group. We'd also like to extend a warm welcome to senior leaders, community partners, friends, family, and all of Team Anellis in attendance today. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel DeMotz. Man, it's warm in here. A couple other quick welcomes. Bart, thanks for coming. Uh, Andy, dad a mask, sorry, sorry. But uh, thanks for being here. Um, hold on, I gotta get adjusted here at the podium. 
Don't worry, I only have like a 99 minute speech, so we'll be quick. So I promised the girls it'd be long. So, but uh, I'll say to all, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, it's awesome that we're able to lift a 50 person rule uh, between about two weeks ago when we had our last change command. Um, but uh, sorry, we're still in masks. So for those of you fanning, fan harder, because I can't feel the air up here. It's super hot. Um, but uh, appreciate everybody masking up, spreading out, uh, and doing what we need to do to tamp COVID back down. Uh, currently high in the Las Vegas area, um, but we got to keep the missions here of Nelson Creech moving forward. So to our many DVs, uh, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Um, to all the commanders, chief shirts, friends in attendance, uh, people online taping virtually to watch later. You guys are getting a great view of the vices back of his head. So um, it's awesome. Appreciate that. Yeah, we got a thumbs up from our videographers back there. Um, it's a setup crew. Thanks. Uh, I've done a couple of these. They're a lot of work. So a lot of work went into this. So I appreciate all of you. Um, and chaplain, thanks for the kind words. Appreciate that as well. Uh, and now to the most important people here today. And I really mean this part. Uh, and it's not the usually two people up here on the stage. Uh, it's our families that could and couldn't attend with us today. So first, I'd like to start with our absentee Air Force family, uh, the members of the Figuera family. So to Colonel Fig, off in the Middle East, supporting and defending, uh, and the re remaining Figuera family, uh, Abigail, Sophia, Ella, Vinny, uh, and especially to those family members now, uh, your service and sacrifice deserves mention here today. Uh, I know the kind of hours that Fig put in for three years as the MSG, and I was an MSG before, and to ever want to think about doing that for three years is somewhat mind-boggling. Um, but I understand the dinners you couldn't make, the moments that you guys lost as a family, uh, and all the sacrifices you did to support the Mission Support Group family. Uh, so to the Fig family, um, thanks for your sacrifice. Uh, and here with us today, uh, assuming command is the mayor's family, um, and Kevin's, and I can attest this personally, Kevin's way better half, uh, Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Reserves, uh, Elena, and their two daughters, Kiara and Liana. Uh, Kevin's mom in Bonnie met her earlier. Thanks for your sparkly mask. Makes my heart. I heard it. Um, says sisters in Michelle from Michelle in from Oregon, and then cousins uh, Tim and Brenda also in from Oregon. Um, for you whiskey drinkers out there, I understand Tim's potentially got a line on Blantons, so he's the big bald guy in the yellow shirt over there. But I get first dibs on the Blantons. Uh, and then also didn't get to meet family friends, but understand family friends in from Virginia as well, trying to beat the humidity, Matt and Brenda. Um, so welcome to all of you. And I will ask the offer that Kevin asked me to call all of you out by name. So Kevin, did I miss anybody? Am I good? We're good. All right, we're good. Perfect. So I'll speak to the families for just a minute first here. Uh, and I truly believe it's the service and sacrifice of our military families that really needs to be highlighted in a ceremony like this today. Uh, every time we pack up our household goods, we move and we uproot the most important parts of our lives, uh, and that's our families. And they don't get a say, they just get told to do it and they go. Um, Nellis will be the mayor's third home in about a year. Uh, and to think about that with two young kids, that's, that's pretty crazy um, and tough. Uh, and when we ask our families to move. We ask our little kiddos to pack up their little lives, change schools, they lose their friends, and they just press on. Uh, our spouses lose jobs, close neighbors, and trusted conf confidants, uh, and they just pack up and they go with us. Um, and it's the grounding and humility that our families provide us uh, with that makes it us effective leaders for our men. I really believe that. So, um, so to our families here today, um, thank you for your attendance. It makes it special uh, for Kevin, the support that we see that Kevin's gonna get in command is awesome because he needs you guys uh, across the board. So for our families, I'd, I'd ask for a round of applause. And then to close it out for our families to bound a little bit, what we're doing up here today for, for those of you in uniform and those of you not, I wanna emphasize that fewer than 1% of the population of the United States actually ever serves in uniform uh, and fewer than 1% that ever serve ever command uh, other airmen. Um, command is one of the greatest honors and privileges that the Air Force can bestow on an officer. So for those looking um, at Fig in the rearview mirror um, and Kevin up here with me today, uh, these two fine Americans are, are a big deal. So um, for the families revel in that, 1% um, serves less than 1% that serve ever command. So it's a truly uh, an honor uh, to be that. And I'll tell you, it humbles me to be up here uh, with Kevin today um, and to have served with Colonel Figuera in a couple points throughout my career. 
So both of you, uh, congratulations. Fig, you did a great job, and Kevin, I know you're going to rock it. So, um, And on a personal and somewhat selfish note, I think this was about to be the first ever all civil engineer officer mission support group change of command. Um, first would have been the first ever in the Air Force where all three on the stage were 06 engineers at the same time, which would have been pretty cool. Um, and I'll offer this. Um, and, and on a, another personal note, um, and this is kind of an interesting fact, and some of you know this, Fig, Kevin, uh, Elena, and I were actually all captains in the same squadron back 150 years ago uh, over in Europe. Um, so I, I am missing Fig here today. Um, public acknowledgement for all of you. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, we'll, we'll call him in spirit, being in here with us in spirit today, whether he wants to be or not. Um, <laughs> So what do the men and women of the 99th Mission Sports Group do? And to answer that, I'd like to pull it up one level first, and then we'll come back to it. So when I get asked what the 99th Air Base Wing does, uh, I like to refer whoever has asked me that question to our iconic main gate uh, welcome sign here at Nellis that's greeted people to the base for years. Uh, and on the bottom of that sign, it says, Home of the Fighter Pilot. Um, and it's dozens of other organizations here at Nellis like Knitter 53rd, 57th, 505th, 926th, and many other acronym soups that supply the fighter pilots portion of that sign. Uh, but it's the 99th job to provide them that home. Uh, and I truly believe it's just that simple. It's providing that home where the 99th Mission Support Group crushes it every day here uh, for Team Nellis and for Team Creech and other mission partners as well. I tell you, you can't drive on a road, enter a building, turn on the lights, enjoy your air conditioning, which would be nice right now, uh, without our civil engineers. And when things go south, which they do on a daily basis around here, um, you can't spin up the emergency operations center, put out a fire or disarm a bomb without our engineers. Or what about MSG's defenders? Protecting our families where we sleep every night, responding to air combat commands most base incursions, uh, and I would bound that by saying Nellis Air Force Base is the most highly contested perimeter in the continental United States, uh, contributing to more than half of Air Combat Command's uh, daily incursions done to the installation. And not to mention literally the thousands of people, defenders turn away at our gates every day that just don't belong here. Uh, no installation security uh, with our defenders, no mission. Our force support squadron feeds thousands of meals annually processes hundreds of personnel actions weekly, runs, in my opinion, the Air Force's finest fitness center, uh, and often do uh, offers dozens of experiences and options monthly for our airmen and for our families. Um, everything from wine drinking to river kayaking, and I would offer hopefully not at the same time. And who could forget about our mighty but mini contracting squadron that manages over a billion dollar portfolio spanning over 400 contracting actions in support of six wings and over 50 other tenant units here, uh, as well as geographically separated, uh, who all think that their number one priority should be contracting's number one priority. Or what about our mighty and huge logistics readiness squadron who's hosting today? JP, saw you in the back. Thanks for hosting. Um, during one of our large force exercises, which there are dozens every year, LRS can move up to a half million gallons of jet fuel in a single day. Um, we also couldn't keep aircraft flying without the thousands of parts that LRS manages and delivers on a daily basis. How about the dozens of deployments that our logisticians support every year? Uh, and finally, certainly, certainly not least, uh, our communications squadron, uh, and I truly believe that 100% uh, of the crux of all eagle is, evil is the lack of communication. Um, and if it wasn't for our communications squadron, we'd have no Nipper, Sipper, JWEX, Voice, ComSec, Cybersecurity, and 100 other things that I don't even know what they mean but come you rock it here uh, every single day for Team Nellis. Uh, and I'd say normally I'd talk now a little bit about the outbound commander uh, and all their accomplishments. Um, and I try to deconflict with the medal presentation that we do here following uh, my speech. But because um, we're not doing a decoration today, I went through uh, Colonel Figueres' decoration. I pulled a couple highlights out, so we'll hit those here. And I promise kids we're getting to the end. Um, and some of the pilots from, uh, from FIG's Legion of Merit. Um, MSG owned all the infrastructure for Air Combat Command's busiest airfield. As over a three-year span, uh, supported 71 large force exercises, 150,000 missions, and enabled training for over 50,000 Air Force and Joint part, Warfighter and Partners. 
uh, all the amazing things the MSG did, uh, and they did them during COVID. Uh, and we have, we've, we've flexed and surged and responded to COVID multiple times over the last couple of years. Um, but uh, I would tell you some COVID highlights, <laughs> closing the commissary entirely to all the retirees of the greater Las Vegas area, which I think put caveman on several hit lists to face, open it back up. And it was the MSG that executed those things. Um, you enabled distance learning, kept food services going, uh, enabled social distancing, deployed dozens of teams in support of U.S. Northcom uh, pandemic operations. Uh, and I would offer when others hunkered down during the global pandemic, the MSG continued to make things better for Team Nellis as they brought online Food 2.0, renovated several dorms that helped chip away at our deficit, brought online new TLFs, completely revamped the main gate of which we had another project going this morning for those of you that have seen the F-15C going up at the main gate, uh, thanks to the MSG partnership with the 57th BART Union crew. Um, you cut down on ATFP issues and you even brought online a new swimming pool. Uh, and that's just to mention a couple of the highlights. So Fig and Spirit, congrats again to you. Um, job well done, uh, bravo Zulu. And as we bid farewell to Fig and say welcome to Kevin, um, we're happy to have you excited. And I would say normally for uh, a change of command and somebody that I don't know a little better than I know Kevin, um, I'd pour through the records uh, and I'd find some highlights. But I tell you today, I find going through your record absolutely completely uh, unnecessary. And I would offer that because the scrutiny that the Air Force puts on 06 command screening that means only the best of the best ever stand up on a stage like this. Um, and I'll tell you that of 06s and making 06s uh, in the Air Force uh, is, is a real deal. Um, only about 20% of Air Force colonels actually ever command, uh, and that's a small number. Um, and there are a lot of colonels in the Air Force. There's a lot of colonels in here today. I'd offer they also probably all want something from you. So <laughs> Kevin has vast experiences, squadron, MAGCOM, headquarters levels. He's commanded multiple times at the flight and squadron levels, uh, and he's been an executive officer to, for two Air Force civil engineers, uh, both of whom I know personally, and both of whom I can attest are extraordinarily demanding, uh, and both in very, very different ways. Uh, and you survived them both, so Kevin, good on you. And I think when, probably the most important part to me is when people ask me about Kevin Mayers, and they, a lot of people asked about you before you got here, they knew we had some history together. Um, and when they ask me about Kevin uh, and what kind of a commander Kevin is going to be, um, I tell them this, uh, and I say he's going to be a lot like what the mission support group is, is not used to. It's going to be a different change, a big change. Um, and I would offer that change is a good thing. Um, everybody who's ever replaced me in command has always been different than I am. And to get a different leader uh, is ready. I think the MSG is ready, and I know you're ready to take them uh, and, and to steer them in the direction you want to go and, and then let them go and see the amazing things uh, that you can do with your fresh new ideas uh, and the new thrust and vector that you'll bring. Uh, and when personally I think about Kevin, um, I think about our very own 57th Wing Weapons School motto. Um, and the motto of the Weapons School, um, and I think this describes you as I know you almost to a T, is humble, approachable, and credible. Um, and I think there's really no Kev way, Kevin, better to describe you than humble, approachable, uh, incredible, and credible. As an Air Force officer, a family man, uh, and Kevin, an all-around good human being. Um, so Kevin, you got a great group already. They're ready to follow your lead, so get after it. Lead from the front. We've always got your top cover uh, at the wing. Again, welcome aboard. Uh, we're excited to have you. Elena, girls, welcome to Las Vegas. We turned the heat on for you, so we would be ready. Uh, 99, to the 99 Mission Support Group professionals, thanks for what you do to make Nellis a great and safe place to live, work, and play. Uh, for all the others in attendance, thanks for coming out here today um, and welcoming Kevin. Um, and he's ready to receive all of your problems as well as a welcome as you, as you go through the receiving line here in a few minutes. Uh, and then again, for everybody here today, thanks. Uh, let's get on with the show. Fight's on. Thank you, Colonel DeMotz. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the publishing of the orders and the assumption of command.
Attention to orders. Under the provisions of Air Force Instruction 51-604, Special Order Number G22406, dated 28 June 2022, by direction of the President, Colonel Mares is appointed Commander, 99th Mission Support Group, 99th Air Base Wing, Air Combat Command, Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, effective the 28th of June 2022. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander, 99th Mission Support Group, Colonel Mares. Thank you, Airman Navov. Namov. Patty, it's great to see you again. Distinguished guests, fellow group commanders, squadron commanders, chiefs, shirts and the men and women of the 99th Mission Support Group. Thank you all for the warm Team Nellis welcome. Before I begin, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize my wife, Elena. The tremendous support and encouragement you've provi provided me through the years is the main reason I stand here today. Thank you. Kiara and Liana, thank you for being wonderful daughters. Being a military child can be tough, and I forget that sometimes but you girls are awesome, and I think you're really gonna enjoy the next two years here at Nellis. Mom, thanks for being here today. And thanks to you and dad for all the support over the years. And Michelle, thanks for being part of this day. And thanks to both of you uh, for letting the girls stay with you these past few weeks in Oregon and uh, traveling with them to be here and, and to bring them to be part of this day. I really appreciate it. It made the PCS, the pack out, and the drive from Florida uh, a lot easier. Tim and Brenda, thanks for coming out from Oregon. It's great to see you. Thanks for being part of the day. And Matt, Brenda, and Devin, thanks for making the trip out from Virginia. Matt and I were squadron commanders together at Holloman, and we were stationed at the Pentagon together. And the Sandaliers were our bubble family in Virginia during COVID. Thanks for making the trip out to Vegas. Although the rest of my family could not attend, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the tremendous support and encouragement they've provided me. They're certainly here in spirit. Colonel DeMott, I'm especially grateful to you for giving me the opportunity to lead this group. What an honor and a privilege it is to serve as your mission support group commander. The strategic importance of this wing's mission enable mission success by delivering innovative su support does not escape me. I'm eager to get started and build on the successes of the great commanders and all the airmen in the 99th Air Base Wing who have come before us or stand with us today. To Colonel Figuera, who led this group over the past three years, thank you for turning over such a great and amazing organization. And to my front office staff, Raz, Daryl, Chief Larga Espada, Demi, and Ann, thanks for the great reception. I look forward to working with you over the next two years. To the men and women of the 99th Mission Support Group, I'm very proud and humbled to be standing in front of you today as your commander. Commanding a mission support group has been a goal of mine since I was a young officer, and to get the opportunity here at Nellis Air Force Base, where I know we have an awesome team with a very unique set of challenges and opportunities is a dream come true. The 99th Mission Support Group provides civil engineer, communications, contracting, logistics readiness, security, personnel and service support for Nellis Air Force Base, Creech, and the Nevada Test and Training Range. You have, done, you have clearly done an outstanding job supporting not only this installation's multiple missions, but also our total force, joint, coalition, and community partners throughout the local area and worldwide. I'm confident we'll continue to build on your successes into the future. Finally, I'd like to thank all the members of the planning committee for orchestrating this assumption of command and the reception that follows. It's a lot of work made even more challenging with the unknowns of a new group commander. 
Thank you to Captain Remy Clark and Sar uh, Senior Master Sergeant Magus for leading the effort. Thank you to A1C Namov for narrating. Thank you to Lieutenant Molotar, Tech Sergeant Miller, Tech Sergeant Barcinas, Master Sergeant Benscombe, and Tech Sergeant Makatol for your help in putting the ceremony together. Thank you to Chaplain Bartlett for the amazing and encouraging words. And thank you to Desiree and her amazing protocol team for ensuring everything was, order, was in order. Uh, also, thank you to LRS and JP for letting us use this venue. I'm honored to command this amazing group. I proudly accept responsibility for it and look forward to continuing the tradition of excellence associated with the 99th Mission Support Group. Again, I thank you for the warm welcome and look forward to meeting each of you over the coming weeks. People first, mission always, fights on. The men and women of the 99th Mission Support Group would like to present this bouquet of flowers to Mrs. Elena Mares and Mrs. Bonnie Mares as our way of welcoming you to Nellis Air Force Base. We look forward to working with you as you become an integral part of our family. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Air Force song and the departure of the official party.